Here's how I achieved old school vertex lighting. First, I light the scene in cycles. Then I bypass the diffuse textures to get only the lighting information. I make sure the meshes have their hard edges split since the light will be baked on each vertex's color. I'll export to Unreal, so I set the color type to Bite Color. Once everything is good to go, I bake the diffuse color to the active color attribute. And there you go. The meshes are now ready to be exported to Unreal. The scene in Unreal is completely unlit since the vertex color is plugged into the material's emissive attribute giving the impression of lighting. To adjust it to my liking, I use the mesh's primitive data to add a little bit of ambient light. I'll show the material graph for those interested. Transforming the vertex data from sRGB to linear gives much better results when blending it with the base color. The main issue with this technique is that there's no information to light movable objects. To fix this, I place static light sources where needed and bake the lighting. The information is now stored in the volumetric light map. Movable lights could also work, but I didn't want harsh shadows on objects. I added a low emissive color on all movable objects to fake ambient light. By adding some volumetric fog, the scene now feels very atmospheric. Here's the final result. This is from our upcoming game called Cop Mortem. And if medieval horror sounds cool to you, go wishlist the game on Steam, and thanks for watching till the end.